Welcome back. I made it. Help me. I'm barely standing. So, it happened again. I'm sad to say. My game crashed. Yay! Which meant restarting the whole thing again. Which means I am a little... I'm going to be a little disoriented again. Trying to figure out where the hell we left off. Why does it say... Weird. There's like a double feed of what items are in his inventory. Why is that? That's even more confusing. Is it 20? Okay, it's day 28. So we, I didn't skip a day or anything. Weird. Okay, so he's very... He's hungry, wounded, sad, tired. Hungry, slightly sick, sad, tired. Alright. You're the only people I have right now, so you're going to take meds. And you're going to take bandages. You guys are just hungry, not very hungry, so we're going to stick with that. So, what happened is I finished this day, so I'm going to be a little disoriented because it crashed again. Uh, I did the entire day. I was about to do, go into night. I was sending somebody in with an axe to go... Uh, to go get some firewood, basically. And I hit scavenge, and it crashed. Like, I hit, I hit the button to go send them on the nighttime mission in the first place. And the game crashed. Which means I lose my entire day of progress. Which means I'm going to be a little confused. I, I stopped for the day, too, so now it's, a now it's later. Now I'm playing this at a later date, and also trying to figure out what the hell was going on since I last played. So he's now bandaged, so I'm gonna send him to sleep. No, I'm gonna send him to do- I'm gonna send him to make mo moonshine, actually. Sorry, buddy. But you're gonna have to make some moonshine real quick. How are we doing on fuel? Because I think we need fuel for moonshine, right? We have it, okay. I was gonna make some while he's walking- oh, with my other character while he's heading over there. And he needs to make moonshine, or we're not gonna have anything to, anything to work with. How's our fuel? We have three fuel and how many wood? Four wood. So I need to get busy on crafting. Uh, what happened? Sorry, I've got to figure out what the hell's going on here. I... This might be a trade day? I'm not entirely sure. We'll see. It might be a trade day. So if I had more fuel, I could make even more... I could make even more moonshine. That might be a good idea. No, I'll, just, I'll stop there. It's, it's the best I can do for today, I think. Um, how are we doing on cigarette materials? Uh, we have tobacco. And we have components. So I could make a bunch of cigarettes for trade. Which I should probably do. Ooh, look at that. We've caught some f traps. We got some food trap. We got some food trap. Good job, me English have do. Alright. I don't know if this is trade day or not, but uh, I have an axe prepped, so we're going to be using that axe to... Oh, they're out the door, so I think that, that is what's going on today, then. The good news is I'm t I have tons of food, so if I get a lot of wood, then I'll be in a good shop. Oh, they need help. Damn it. I can't remember what happened last time. It was either, uh... Last time I played, there was either, uh... It was either this, the guy coming to the store, or it might have been kids asking for medicine. So I think it might have reset what happened and re-randomized it this time around. I would love to have new a new character show up. That would help me out, obviously. International community has agreed to send the peacekeeping forces to Pogarin. The operation is due to start approximately two weeks, bringing hope, putting an end to this destructive conflict. Oh, we only have like... So they're saying we have like two weeks of game left. And that seems to be the implication there. I've never seen the game end before, so I don't know for sure. Two weeks. I mean, I have food for two weeks, so if I can get... If I can get what we need otherwise, we can be in good shape then. So, we're currently making moonshine. Uh, what does this guy want? He said he needs help, so he's probably not here to trade, so it probably doesn't matter that I can't make a... It probably doesn't matter if I make my cigarettes in time. He probably wants meds or something. Or maybe a couple cans of food. Hi there, neighbors! Good day to you. I live down the street. I noticed you're living in this abandoned building. I've got some news. There was a humanitarian aid drop last week. Most containers were confiscated by the rebels, but I know about one they missed. It landed no in no man's land, so it might be dangerous to get it. But under the cover of darkness, we should be able to make it. I'll show you where it is if you come and cut the supplies. Deal? Oh, fuck me. Can I make this work? 
the supplies could be so good, but we have, we have no one else left. Still, it could be free supplies. I might send her out to do it. We might just wait the night out and not go scavenging. I hate making decisions in this game. Okay, um... We have wood for fire right now. I'm going for it. Great, you won't regret it. Alright. Sorry to wake you up, Bruno. I know you're very tired. I'll be sitting in bed soon. We gotta put a fire on there. Since she's not here to do it right now. Oh, we need something to burn first. Okay. Sorry, gotta make you walk around a little bit. We're gonna make some... We have, we have spare wood, right? Yeah. I'm gonna be using all of it. And we're gonna make some spare firewood. And I think we're just gonna wait out the night. I think he's just gonna stay... He's gonna... He's probably gonna sleep, honestly. I don't know if I'll even have him stand guard. Let's see. Are people honestly even going to try to raid us in this weather? It's fr it's literally freezing temperatures. I don't know if we'll even be raided. But, uh... <sighs> I'll double check real quick. Well, it might, it might be showing, showing up here. Do I have the alarm door yet? I'll double check at the workbench real quick to see if it shows up there. If I have the alarm bench, that's supposed to wake us up if anyone tries to break in. But I don't remember if the alarm door was made before or after the, the day where the crash happened. Crashing destroys the flow of this game so hard. I'm really bummed out. I'm bummed out that it's happened twice already. Uh, no, I don't see a single. There's no upgrade for the door, so I must have already purchased it the previous day. That's good news. So yeah, I'm gonna. Go put fire on the door, and I think we're just gonna patiently wait it- Oh, the moonshine's done. I should grab that for future use. Alright, I'm gonna- Maybe I should prep the future moonshine, too. If we truly run out of, uh... Oh, but it uses the fuel I need to make- No, we're not doing that. I need the fuel to keep warm, so we're gonna- We're gonna stick it out and- Use the fuel to keep warm for now. And the next time I get a chance to go out during the day, uh, I mean during the night, I'll go work on properly making firewood. Here we go. I need to go out with an axe and just carve some stuff up. That's my goal right now, is to get the axe, go to some safe location, chop the shit out of everything. For now, Bruno needs to recover. We have the alarm door, and we have weapons. So I believe that makes him safe from guards, because the alarm door goes out of its way to, to explain the, like, I think it's in our things is where it says it. Um, even if we're all caught sleeping, we should be able to repel most bandit attacks. And so normally I would, I would take that part where it says most and be like, nope, not worth the risk. But in this specific situation, I'm going to take a risk to get the, uh, one character's going to get a supply drop, he's going to, he's going to rest to recover from being bandaged like this. Then hopefully tomorrow she'll return. And he'll be, if from enough bed rest, he'll hopefully be safe enough to go out in the field again and go chopping. And then we'll have a whole bunch of supplies. I'm going to patiently wait out the rest of the day in case an event happens. But I think we're just going to wait for now. At least the traps are still getting food for us. I mean, that's not bad. We have, we have 19 food right now. That's good for us. Here we go. He's tired, he's wounded, and he's alone. I really hope this isn't where this game ends for me. It has, uh... As Bruno tired and dying alone in a cold cabin, but... We're gonna stay. And for the first time in this entire playthrough, I'm not going to scavenge. And I'm gonna hope we don't get obliterated. <laughs> I'm hoping it's too cold for raids, honestly. The night was calm. Amelia brought back some goods from the aid container. Five coffee, six water, three food. Arguably not worth it in some capacity, maybe. Because we're going to be running out of fuel now, but that's... The food's good. I'm just worried about the temperature of the house now. At least she's back. How's she feeling? Very tired and very hungry, as you'd expect. In fact, they're both going to be very hungry now, so let's go upstairs and cook. You know what? They're not going to cook. Just this once, we're, in an, we're not going to cook. We're both going to eat canned food. Because cooking requires fuel. 
And actually, I don't think we have any fuel, actually, so we can't cook anyway, I believe. Yeah, not unless I want to start destroying components, which is an option. And I might even need to do that. Right now, I'm thinking of axing this chair for more fuel. I just wish I knew how much wood it'd be worth if I axed it. They feel- they like this- they like the feeling of having chairs around, I'm sure, but it's rough. He's very- wait, so she's hungry, very tired. They send you to sleep because you're very tired. Slightly sick. It's not getting better. It's getting rough. You know what? Take those- take those meds again. I see you're very hungry, so let's get the food in you. He's slightly wounded. That's- that's much better. Okay. I feel relatively confident taking him into the field today. Who's that? Is that trade? I need to talk to you. That's not... That's good. That's way worse than trade. That's like... That could be anything, but I want... I want stuff. Let's see, she's... Very tired. Let's send her out. Alright, who's here? Do you have an extra pair of hands? Again? Good day, my name's Anton. Forgive me for this intrusion. You see, I am not so young anymore, and frankly, I don't think I can survive this war on my own. Would you like to be so kind of let me stay with you? Oh, thank fucking God. Okay, cool, cool, sure. I- <laughs> I'm sitting here thinking, oh no, another- like, I, I don't want to turn people away, because you get stuff for it and everything, but I was worried about, like... I was worried about, like, doing that two days in a row when I'm trying to go out and get wood. Frankly, I don't think I can survive this war on my own. Would you like be so kind to let me stay with you? I promise to earn my keep. Yes! Welcome to the crew, Anton. Fantastic. Fantastic. On that topic, Bruno's gonna get some rest. Anton is... Oh, he's sick and tired also. Alright, so maybe Bruno should stay up. Bruno, take a seat. Anton, do you take the big meds because you're, uh, actually sick and not just slightly sick? Alright, food's gonna be a problem. Not immediately, but it could be eventually. We have 20 food right now, so that's still... 20 could still last us two days. <sighs> I figure with, with when, when we're feeding people when they're very tired, when they're very hungry, that means we usually have to... We usually have to feed them every two days. So that's one food every two days for three people. Uh, I mean, basically it means one food per day when you have two people. And it means 50% more than that with three people. So yeah, we can actually last almost exactly two weeks with this amount of food. Which would make us out the war. So food's not really a problem right now. The big thing is security. We need to be sure that we're not going to get killed. I'm relatively happy with security because we have a reinforced building at the moment. Which is good. Reinforced building is good. And we have uh, a lot of guns. How's our ammo doing? 33 bullets. Oh, I should... Oh, uh, wait, 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 what do I need to filter again? Because I, sh I should increase the value of these items. Uh, let's check that again. I think you filter with just with just water filters, which just requires components. So it's not a big deal. Oh, it requires fuel. Okay. So we won't be making pure alcohol for a little while. Let's go visit the radio. Uh, we have a lot of guns. We've got about as... I think we have all the fortification we could possibly get. We have 30 bullets, which is pretty good, I think. So really the only thing is that we need food. Uh, cigarettes would make one character happier, coffee would make the other character happier. But more than anything, we need we need wood so that I can cook half of our food that, that uh, needs to be cooked. And we need uh, wood, obviously, for the temperature, because it's freezing cold. And that problem might resolve itself. Right now it's a problem I have to worry about, but at some point it might stop being so cold. I don't know how long winter lasts in this game. But if the winter calms down, then, uh, our giant demand for, our deadly demand for, uh, fuel will die down. At this point, I'm very much considering using our components for fuel. Or we're gonna have to worry about getting too cold. And that'll be bad. And he's, he, uh, he's sad from last lack, lack of cigarettes. We have no fuel, right? I'm not delusional here? No. So much... We have so much goddamn sugar for the purpose. Let's go make a snow house, a snowman for no good reason. Uh, so you're sick, very tired. Oh look, Anton's not not tired anymore. Just recovering from being sick. All right. She's very tired from being out for so long. Damn, it's been several days since I last smoked. Yeah, sorry about that, Bruno. Everything's kind of gone to shit with the winter, in particular. And uh. 
I mean, no, I could, I could craft cigarettes to make them happier, couldn't I? Hang on a second. Sorry you're a little wounded, but let's, let's hustle a little bit, because he takes so long to move. I kind of blanked on the fact that I have much of tobacco. Let's review the requirement for building them. I could use four components to make 16 cigarettes, that'd keep him happy. Let's do that, that'll keep you busy for a while. And I can make cigarettes, both for bartering and for keeping you happy. Are you sad? You're sad. Anton's totally sweet, he doesn't give a shit. Uh, Anton, he's a good mathematician. He's abstinent. That means no alcohol, right? I've been running into either insufferable rubes or outright criminals, but I feel that you're different. And for a scientist with an established position like me, the, uh, company of people of comparable mental capacity is paramount. Besides, uh, bloody hell, I can't stand faking it anymore. I'm just an old fart, uh, old fart who knows nothing. I'm so grateful for your company. I've been out there for alone for too long. Way too long. Makes you wonder how he lived on his own in the first place. He's abstinent. I always forget if abstinent means, uh, no sex or no alcohol or both or what. I don't... Don't care that much, honestly. If he doesn't- if he doesn't want to take part take in anything, that's good for me, because that means that I don't have to deal with that income. I'm, I'm assuming he's not going to randomly be like, throwing my alcohol out of the building or anything, so... I'm sure we'll get along just great to- just great there. He's talking about it being too cold. Uh, can you freeze to death in this game? I should probably be worried, worried about that, huh? Let's see. He's recovering. Should I turn component? <sighs> Shit. I'm so annoyingly undecided on this topic, so I don't want to... Alright, Anton, get up here. Let's make fuel with that. I think I'm about to use my components. Alright. Damn it. I don't want to burn our components, but we don't have fuel. I shouldn't have made the, uh, moonshine, basically, is what we're getting at here. I don't want to burn my books, do I? It's part of the morale thing. I don't know what the math is there with the morale, but it seems to be working out right now. So I'm, I'm gonna have to become short on components here, unfortunately. But if my character is freeze to death, then I lose. <laughs> like, that's the end of the game for me. I just need one more day. Damn it, that uh, going out for that supply drop really got me in trouble, huh? I don't know. I mean, really what got me in trouble was getting my characters killed so I didn't have a full crew anymore. Oh, quickly hustle, the day's about to end. I'm sure it just gets colder at night, so the last thing we want to do is have you, uh... ...have more time pass like that. Oh, yeah, homegrown tobacco. Oh, wait, no, that I'm not... ...not prioritizing that right now. Alright, here comes nighttime. Guess I'll just end the day. Night time. All right. I sincerely hope that the game doesn't crash this time. All right. All right, game. All right. Wow, she's still tired. Impressive. Wow, Anton has a. Wow, he has a backpack of eight, huh? Okay. Um. I don't know about the old man standing guard necessarily. I don't know. Maybe the night will be calm, maybe it won't. Slightly sick, sad, tired. Maybe they should sleep. I'm gonna scavenge with Bruno. He's slightly wounded, but I think I can get away with that. My goal is to go to the abandoned cottage. Now this is the very first location we ever visited in the entire game. Wait, but it's safe. Nothing was there. Visited 26 days ago, I can't believe that much time has passed. My goal is to take an axe in there. And just go busting up stuff that I find, basically. Crowbar, I... I'm sure I took a crowbar there before, right? I don't think I need a crowbar. Alright, don't crash. Please? 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 Okay, cool. That's what crashed the game for me last time. Alright, so as far as I'm aware, there's nothing dangerous around here. So we're gonna look for things I can smash up with my- there we go. Things I can smash up with my axe for firewood. There we go, and we're gonna obliterate this goddamn cottage for all it's worth. You 
Better have a but please have a lot of wood. I want to go back with a full invent. Yes. Oh, that's that's the game just changed for me. There we go. It was a mistake to go for that goddamn airdrop. It just it wasted a whole extra day and it consumed my supplies because I yeah. Some some of it's unforeseen consequences, but it's rough. Is that a door or a cabinet I never searched? Oh, components. That'll help. I'm surprised there's still so much stuff here. I honestly don't even have... Oh, it's locked. That's, so that's some... I must have never had a lockpick back then, I guess. I'm genuinely caught off guard by some... By... I have no memory of this entire building, frankly. It's so small. It totally is like a tutorial location. We visited it so long ago, I just don't remember being here. Components and wood. We need the wood and fuel. That's all good news. Um, components are great news too, though, obviously. I might drop one wood to get a whole other stack of components. I mean, one, one wood versus 12 components is a tough trade. Frankly, the one word, the one wood versus the eight, the four components in the pile is the same amount of fuel, so technically it's worth it, I suppose, in that way. I wish I could just turn it all into fuel on a workbench right here, because my inventory's full now. It might warrant a second trip here if there's enough stuff here. Let's take a look at the stuff. That that I could chop that thing up for wood. I mean, it's safe. It's totally worth coming back for. Look, more wood. What was that sound? Tell me someone's not coming into this goddamn building to kill me. Oh my goodness, all this wood. Okay, we're coming back tomorrow. That's it. We're in- we're in- we're in pacifist weather the storm mode. Uh... I- I did my- I did my share of scavenging. Uh, we killed people. We got our defenses. Dangerous things happened. For good and ill. Uh, we lost our we lost our warriors, more or less. But, uh, they secured a tough- they- they secured a pretty good base for home. So, our- our home is strong. So we- now it's just about getting food. I mean, wood. Whew. We made it to day 30. Really good haul, look what I got. So much wood, bro. Like, so much wood. Anton is pale and coughing all the time. He looks severely sick. Oh, no, that's not good. He just got here and he's this sick? Alright. I'll try to keep him alive, but, uh... I mean, the good news is... I got a ton of wood. That- that seriously helps some of our situations here. Is he slightly tired? Slept poorly. Is it because of how cold it is? He's sick. Severely ill. That's even worse. How'd it get worse? I feel terrible. If we don't find meds, I will die. You were just on meds. I guess I'll send- Wait, no. You stay in bed, actually. Sorry. You can give him meds, can't you? Doesn't that show up for characters above them? No? Okay, I guess he's got to go get the meds himself then. Uh, go get the big bottle. And, uh, well actually, Anton, sorry. Sorry, Anton. But you're right here. You might as well put the two logs on. I kind of put this in an inconvenient spot, I'm realizing. It was kind of the leftover spot, but I, I guess that, uh... For how often I'm going to have to visit it during the winter, it's actually kind of inconvenient to have it down the ladder. That said, the central floor of most of my building where I use down here is, uh... It's really packed. And, logically, I feel like it makes- oh. Hello, food. Logically, I feel like it makes sense to put the heater in the basement. Just because if you're trying to conserve heat, I feel like putting it as low as possible in the most confined location would help conserve the heat. Ideally, no one would ever go up into, this, into the ba main floor with the nice- when we have this nice, uh... Ideally, no nobody would ever go to the top floor with how we have this nice- yeah, let's just use- let's use... Fertilizer. I don't think I. I don't know if I'll ever actually use fertilizer for for its intent <clears throat> for its intended purpose. This pill should help. I sure hope so, because you're supposed to freaking get better after you take those. Damn it! Severely ill. Stop that. I'm putting you right next to the heater. Uh, ideally, no one would ever go upstairs because it looks like a. It's it's full of holes. It was bombed, but uh, down here we're in a better spot. Let's check the radio. Temperature's still low. Classical. 
Beware of bands of looters roaming the city. It's best to lock your doors and stay inside. Okay. It's a good thing I got an extra character then. That'll help with defenses. Because two people can be awake. Maybe one person standing guard and the other person ready to wake up if somebody attacks us. We've got crime problems. Let's see. Are you you slept poorly? That doesn't mean you're that doesn't mean you're tired necessarily though. It just means you slept uh, poorly. Oh, is it trade time? Yep, someone's here to barter. That's good news. I can make use of this. Wait a second though. We got our new supply of components. It would also require fuel, but we could make. We could purify our alcohol for better trade. I should. We got trade up. I'll get back to you in a second. I'm happy that they seem to stick around. That's the wrong station. For crying out loud, it's dangerous outside. Yeah, I get that, buddy. But uh, you're not going to go anywhere, I don't think. Let's see. So we'll make one extra fuel. Because it requires. Does it require two fuel? Hang on a second. Sorry, Bruno. Gotta wake up. We'll get right to you in a second, sir. Does Bruno use less fuel when he when he also distills? No, he doesn't. It also... Wow, that's... Wait, no. It requires one of our two. I'm an idiot. I keep making that mistake. Alright, so... You're gonna make one more fuel. You're gonna make three filters. That's, yeah. And then we're gonna use this to trade up, I hope. Let's see, the, as soon as it comes up, I'm just gonna hit click to get it going as fast as possible. Oh wait, I have to wait for the timer to go, huh? It's a little slow. Yeah, I think he's supposed to stay around all day, even though he has like, you know, he has, he has some colorful dialogue about being stuck outside in the danger, but I don't think it's gonna do anything. He'll stick around for a lot of the day, and I gotta get this crafted. So if I, if I get this, uh... If I get the alcohol distilled, we can trade it. In the meantime, I think I'll make more fuel. You're afraid Anton's not getting any better? He's... come on, I'm giving him meds! Is it, is it just because of how cold it is? I can't fix it being cold. Let's see. I'll start working on more fuel. That'll be more fuel to put on the fire, since... Uh, maybe I should make more... It's 8 degrees Celsius, it's getting better. It's been worse in the past, at least. There we go. Making more... It takes a little longer than I was thinking it would. Let me in, we can make a good deal. Yeah, I know... I know that... So sorry it's been like 6 hours already, or however long, because of how fast time moves in this game. Also, sorry Bruno that you don't get to sleep right now. You'll, you'll get to sleep all day tomorrow or something, right? Alright? You'll sleep all afternoon, too, as soon as you finish what you're doing. In fact, uh, Bruno, go off to... Go off to bed, actually, since you don't affect the timing of this thing. I just need to multitask a little bit. Ah, I'm sorry, Bruno, I gotta send you to put the fire on. I don't want to wake up Anton, because he's dying, apparently. <laughs> You go ahead and put that on. Oh, it used another fuel up right in front of me. Is she very hungry? No, she's just hungry. She's just being whiny. It's what she do. Alright. There we go. Look at all these bottles. We got six bottles of, uh, pure alcohol. And we got a bunch of cigarettes. Let's trade for a bunch of wood. And other- and stuff like that. Are you sleeping? No, go to sleep. There we go. You can get some more to sleep out of the afternoon, at least. Okay, so... We'll start things off with the alcohol. Probably too much. I probably don't need to trade that much. Ooh. This carrots are always good news. Uh, raw food, tobacco is good news. Yeah, they usually don't want too much for your tobacco, either. Fuel would be good. But he's not willing to trade that much fuel off, apparently. I'm curious what the... Let's get rid of everything real quick. 
I want to compare. I right, said so this is wood. Let's see how long it takes to get off of impressive. It took me one, two, three, four, five, six, twelve to get off of impressive. I want to compare that to fuel to see which one they value more. Fuel should be worth. I don't know. Uh, from a gameplay perspective, fire's kind of, the wood's kind of worth more because it's versatile and can be used for more things. But the fuel is a one-to-one -one ratio. But the game might think the f that the uh, fuel's worth more. I ran out. That makes it hard to compare. <laughs> um, that makes it hard to compare. Let's see. I'll ask for tobacco and fuel. And they're saying you gotta be kidding me, as expected. Which is where I'll throw in my cigarettes. And they don't give a shit. Okay, so cigarettes had depreciated, apparently. We knew that, but I uh, kind of hoped they hadn't that much. Do I not have all my components? I might have built that in the day it crashed. But I've finished all the things you can build with, um, let's see. I should be trading for wood, probably. I can get more wood, though. Oh, no, I'm trading for fuel anyway, so who cares? Um... Won't do try harder. I mean, I, I gotta balance myself here anyway, right? Because we need... We need some component of, uh... We need components to go along with the tobacco anyway, or it won't work out. So we'll just decrease from here, and I can make more tobacco. I can make more cigarettes with these. We have a deal. That's a decent chunk. What does he have? Sugar though. Okay, so he does not have sugar for us to trade for. Is this a good trade? It's fuel. We need fuel, so that's inherently a pretty good trade. And we can make more tobacco to trade for more fuel. That should be good. Um. We're, we're helping our future, basically, with that. Uh, so I'm gonna stick with this. So, deal. Let's see, do I have anything else I want- I can trade, though? Double checking real quick. Gonna wanna keep my sugar around. Let's see. I could trade off a spare weapon, but right now we have four guns. We could get a fourth character, potentially. We've had it before. No, I'm gonna say, get out of here. Thanks for the trade, buddy. You might- you're helping me survive the winter. By, by giving us more of these, uh, components for, for getting through the, uh, all the damn heat. So there we go, we have... 14 fuel. We went from having no fuel to 14 fuel in 24 hours. Yesterday I was burning my components to make fuel. That's, that's the situation we were in. So things have gotten better. In some way. I can make 28 cigarettes. Let's get, let's go ahead and get busy. That'll burn through the rest of the day. Let's see, music is playing, so I already checked the radio, so yeah. I think we're just gonna casually wait out the rest of the day. Um, let's see. Is he getting any better? He's still severely ill and on meds and near the heater. That's rough. Don't fucking show up and die 48 hours later. That'd be so tedious. That'd be a problem, like, you're using up my meds. Let's just end the day. Nothing else is going to happen in that amount of time. I think I'm about ready to go to the abandoned cottage again with, a. Uh, he's still- he's tired. He'll get more time to sleep later- later- later, um... You need to sleep, so you're gonna be on guard duty while he sleeps. Cause he's severely ill. Hopefully he'll get better over the course of the night. Hopefully... Things will heat up a little bit, maybe. Uh, Bruno's gonna scavenge. It's a bummer that he's tired. But hey, he's got cigarettes, so we should be happy about that. And I'm about to... Get more for him. The door was locked, so we're gonna bring a crowbar this time on top of our axe. We don't have any lock picks. The crowbar should get it open, I believe. Don't crash. I'm just jumping about this location now, because I, I don't know what crashed it last time. I suppose I, t I took Amelia last time. I think Bruno... Because Bruno was so wound... Yeah, w Bruno was so wounded I had him sleeping. So I took Amelia last time instead. So maybe that's what caused the... Uh, maybe that's why it is that she ultimately... Why the crash happened? Maybe she, sure, maybe some combination of Amelia with an axe makes the game freak out. Either way, let's get this open and get Bruno back home. He is wounded and tired and sad and hungry. <laughs> Not a good combo for him, but hopefully we'll get a good enough haul to really cement our future here. And it's a nice, safe location where nothing should really happen to him. 
Meds, ooh, moonshine. Bullets and a teddy bear I'll probably leave here, honestly. I'm, I'll am i probably get enough, I'll probably get enough wood that I can just leave the teddy bear behind. Doesn't seem worth it. Let's axe. Axes are great. That's how you survive the winter, absolutely. There's that wood and the fuel. Fuel's great to find because it's already it's uh it stacks better. It's great news. Like wood may wood uh wood might be a better thing to trade for, but I'm sure act but I'm pretty sure that uh fuel is a better thing to find just because it stacks better. Teddy bear is not as good as parts. Some bullets would be nice, but I'll probably leave them behind too for the sake of more wood. Yeah, I can still axe this place. I don't know if I necessarily want to come back again, so this might be it. So I'll probably drop anything that's not wood just to have the full haul. Oh my god, fuel, it stacks so good. Herbal meds, parts, I don't know if I want what parts over other things here. Bullets. I'm half tempted to leave the crowbar behind. <laughs> I'll keep the moonshine because I'm sure I can trade it for a bunch of wood. Because it's wood isn't a valuable item. I'm just I just need it because of the temperature problem. I'm wondering if I should make a second heater. I think that requires a bunch of components, unfortunately. But I'm tempted to make a second heater to see if that would help the temperature more. But we'd need a lot of wood to keep that going. Like a lot of wood. Which is part of why I'm tempted to leave me the herbal meds behind. The part where they d say that they don't necessarily even do a good job is the part of why I'm tempted to leave them. But yeah, we probably won't come back here again. I'll probably go to another location that's, that's bound to have a better haul than this one, next. Could have two parts. So many trade opportunities here, um... As of right now, I'll be going home with... Uh, 14 fuel. That's pretty good. That's a decent amount of fuel, I would say. Um, should I come back for parts? Frankly, there's enough shit on the ground I can come here a third day. Right here, that's, that's five more wood. I might spend three days scavenging just this location for the amount of wood there. Seven wood. I think there was more right here. Yeah, nine wood. I think there's more elsewhere too. I think, yeah. I thought I was gonna be done with this place today, but I think I can actually keep grabbing more wood here for a while. Sorry if this isn't the most exciting stuff, because I'm not exploring new locations and risking my life, but this is the part where we're down to the wire of people being sad and tired and hungry, and we're in the middle of a blizzard and trying not to freeze to death and die of sicknesses, so this is the way to go, I think.